The MTA says fare and toll evasion is at a crisis point. The agency says it cost the city nearly $700 million last year. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has more on what can be done to solve the problem. What to do about those who ride for free? Drivers who avoid bridge and tunnel tolls and others who sneak onto buses and trains. Why can't they pay? That is money that could be used to invest in infrastructure. Reporters were shown the latest fare gate technology Wednesday at Grand Central Terminal. Machines that can identify subway riders jamming through on the heels of someone else. Machines with big plexiglass panels. Like they have in Europe, that there's doors that are high up that you can't jump over. Transportation experts call these a super highway of fare evasion that when they open, people stream through. Emergency gates can be avoided, they say, when you make gates wider for strollers and wheelchairs. None of the machines displayed are on order for the MTA yet. I asked, how can we do better? Is there a place in the world, a city where you are impressed with the way they're doing this that you feel you can learn from? I'll let you guys answer. We are not aware of some place that's got it perfectly right. We are learning together with the rest of the world. The MTA is looking to add gate guards at 30 stations, giving first-time offenders warning tickets, while expanding fare subsidies for those who qualify as low income. Limitations are the astronomical costs of fixing infrastructure, buying all new gates, for example. But these leaders say it's crucial that free rides reach the end of the line. In Grand Central Terminal, Dave Carlin, CBS2 News.